I've been asked by several people now to comment on Tesla's so-called aluminium battery, which is meant to be a game changer. There is millions of views on this new aluminium battery that Tesla have apparently been working on. Is it, well, is it true or is it false? Uh, well, I'm going to set the record straight. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Now, Tesla have been working on some new batteries. Uh, they have signed a deal with LG Chem. It was about $5 billion or just under that, four point something billion dollars for new batteries. I believe those batteries are lithium ion phosphate batteries doped with nickel. I know it sounds strange, but lithium ion phosphate with nickel doped batteries in increases the energy density of these lithium ion phosphate batteries to be basically the same as ternary batteries or NCM batteries, but they cost as much as lithium ion phosphate to make. So they're 30% cheaper with the same energy density. That is the big news for Tesla. And that will be game changing, absolutely game changing for Tesla. But people are reporting that Tesla are working on something even bigger and even better. They are saying that the Model 2 will use an aluminium ion battery. And these reports, are they speculation or fiction? Well, there's no actual technical details. There's no Tesla announcement whatsoever. Some sources acknowledge that they are mixing facts with speculation. Claims suggest these lithium ion batteries will have potential benefits like utilizing abundant, easily recyclable aluminum and potentially eliminating reliance on rare earth minerals. While aluminum ion battery tech itself is a real area of research, there is not yet any official confirmation or concrete evidence from Tesla or any reputable news website whatsoever that Tesla's so-called aluminum ion battery, aluminum ion super battery, I should say, is actually in development or even planned for production for Tesla's vehicles. So what's being claimed here? Well, the speculative reports describe a revolutionary aluminum ion battery uh, with a unique quantum tunnel architecture and self-repairing graphene channels. Quite complex. I'd say just getting sodium ion batteries from Cadel, which are probably the best batteries in the world right now and the cheapest, could be a simpler solution. But anyway, apparently they offer superior performance. These batteries are said to offer significantly faster charging times, e.g. full charge in only a couple of minutes, higher energy density, much longer lifespan, 15,000 cycles or 4 million miles, and a wider operational temperature range. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty wild, right? In other words, they're the best batteries in history. If this were true, over 15,000 cycles or 4 million miles, uh, full charge in minutes, high energy density, um, wider operational temperature range, they're basically the dream batteries. I don't think that anyone has hit that trifecta of basically <laughs> being the best in every area, which is what people are claiming these new Tesla aluminum batteries are. They are also safe and sustainable, say, say some of these YouTubers. The aluminum ion batteries are presented as inherently safe, eliminating dendrite formation, in other words, no battery degradation, and reducing overheating risks associated with lithium ion batteries. They also leverage the abundance and high recyclability of aluminum, promoting a more sustainable energy ecosystem. Cost and scalability. Okay, claims say that using existing aluminum infrastructure could make the batteries cheaper and easier to produce than lithium ion batteries. I'm skeptical. Uh, this is why. Well, most of this so-called detailed information comes from YouTube videos and blogs with few references to Tesla's actual engineers or official company announcements. I haven't found anything from Tesla officially. That doesn't mean it's not real, but it means it's less likely. And some sources are even explicitly saying their content mixes facts, speculation, and creative interpretation. That's in order to avoid getting sued or having their video taken down for false information. While aluminum ion batteries are a real research area, and they have been for quite a while now, 
they face some pretty significant technical hurdles related to the stability and conductivity of the materials in them. And these videos don't address any of that. They don't address any of the challenges of aluminum batteries and they don't really explain how Tesla is able to build this new quantum battery, um, which it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me why they even need a quantum battery. Why use the word quantum? It just sounds like a, a gimmick to stick that word in there. There's also some conflicting details. The reported specs, such as the number of charge cycles or miles of use, vary significantly across different videos and articles, adding to um, the unlikeliness of these batteries actually being real. Now, a lot of the excitement around these batteries is due to some, well, okay, information like this. Telematicswire.net claims that one of the most touted advantages of aluminium iron batteries lies in their theoretical volumetric energy density, which is wild. Aluminium ions are trivalent, meaning they can exchange three electrons, electrons per ion, as opposed to lithium ions, which exchange only one. In theory, this allows for a much higher charge storage capacity in the same volume, potentially leading to batteries that are smaller, lighter, and can offer substantially longer driving ranges for an EV. Speculative reports say that they could lead to 10 times higher energy density, and that would be game changing. Now, at this point in time, there is, it's a very early days with aluminum ion batteries. So even if Tesla is working on one, and I think there's a possibility they could be, they'd be many years away from production. It's not gonna be in the Model 2. That is a flat out lie. And it's just people wanting to make money from getting people to click. It's purely clickbait at this point in time. So I hope I answered the question for those of you who have been asking. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Aluminium iron batteries have been generating a lot of buzz recently. For good reason. Aluminium is something that is, well, there's a lot of it. Put it that way. Scientists have developed an aluminium iron battery with significantly improved storage capacity. Here's what they did. There's some interesting technical details here that I'll try to simplify. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A research group has created an organic redox polymer for use as a positive electrode in aluminium iron batteries. Why is this significant? It actually is quite significant because it's adding to the recent improvements and advancements we've seen with aluminium iron batteries, making them a definite possible contender for lithium batteries within a few years. Aluminium iron batteries are emerging as a potential successor to traditional batteries that rely on harder to source materials like lithium.